Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is iMock Lassie. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of continuation from the Cuba Space video I did prior. So if you haven't seen that video, I recommend seeing the Trinity in the Cuba Space to have a better understanding. Also, if you want to have another, if you want to add on to that, you know, if you want to learn more about this, I mean, I also suggest two other videos called the Hebrew Alphabet's Tarot Cards in Your Consciousness and Understanding the Fourth dimension from a 3D perspective. So real quick, um, I'm not going to go completely into those videos because those are very self-explanatory, but what happened was I was talking about a cubist space and as you see I talked about how in the tarot cards there's a lot of symbolisms that is really helping you with your sub subconscious and your consciousness awakening or what we can call initiation. And if you look at the tarot cards you'll see that there's always symbolisms of a cube. I also talked about how, based on the Book of Formation, that the universe was created out of these elements. There's a, from, um, originating from the Hebrew alphabets, three was mother letters, seven was double letters, and twelve were single letters. So I basically said in a cube that the binding force are the mother letters, which is associated in the center of the cube. It kind of holds a cube together, and then the seven double letters are basically the faces, but we didn't really go into the single letters. Um, but the reason why it's important to understand this is because you will understand that, understand the cube is understanding your consciousness, is understand the path to the return, and it's also giving you a road map, and it's also helping you get different degrees of initiations, which you can be associated with the 22 minor initiations. So real quick, this is how the cube looks like. Um, you know, it looks very complicated, but I'm just going to go ahead and continue to explain this eventually. Even if it doesn't click right now, eventually it's going to click one day and you're going to be like, I get it. So really, you know, this is, you know, you're dealing with the cube. There's three different directions. You have above, below, that's being bonded by the full card or elf. You have east, west, that's being bonded by mem. You have the north and south card. You have the external cards, which is associated with north, east, west, south, above, below, and then the middle card. Now, when you think of that, you can think of it as more of a cube, which kind of looks like this. But at the same time, you can also look, think of it as a tesseract. And if those who are not familiar with what a tesseract looks like, it looks something similar to this. Now, this may look confusing, but if you look at it with these little high, I put little shadowing or lighting on it, you can actually see what it's really symbolizing it is two three-dimensional cubes that are actually um, lined up together by its edges. So here I have a purple one on the right and I made a, I made the red one on the left so you can see that they're actually two three-dimensional cubes that can actually be linked. Now if you really want to understand the evolution of this from zero point to a line to two dimensional to three dimensional to this, I highly recommend watching my video called Understand the 3D Dimensions. But when you're dealing with the Tesseract, you can have it looking like this where it is side by side, but at the same time, you can also have it where it is instead of it being side by side, two cubes, you can actually have a cube inside of another cube which looks more like this. And the reason why I'm bringing this cube up is because this is the one that most of you guys are, more, are probably more familiar with when it comes to the Avenger movies. Remember, they had an, a cube that was able to, or, that was very, very powerful, and they were trying, they were basically fighting over it because it was able to open up dimensions. So the cube, when you think of the ones that they have, which is blue, it looked more like this, and it actually has, it, it looked more like this where it was blue and it had a cube internally. So if you look at it just from the outside, it looks like a cube, but there's actually another cube inside of it, basically into, um, making it a tesseract. Now I put here, why this is important, because this is also associated with the cube of space. And with the cube of space, you know, by understanding the cube and the Hebrew alphabets, you can open up portals, aka like the Avengers did. So what happens is, why that's important to understand because that's also correlating with the cube of space because the cube of space actually has this diagram as well and it also can has access to many different dimensions so real quick when you're thinking of a cube 
I kind of showed you how there's different faces. There's an above, there's below, there's north, east, and west. And then there's axles in the middle that kind of bind the, the, the planes together. Um, but what happens is in the, <laughs> in the middle of the cube, there's actually a, a representation of the world card. And the world card looks a little bit more like this. And with the world card, you can kind of see by looking at its description, it's actually a, a female in the middle of a cube. And what happens is that's kind of like the, the, the internal part of a cube. And when you, when you understand that, you understand that well, usually when people deal with the internal part of the cube, they, in, they consider it the holies of holies, the place that most people want to basically go to experience, which is basically hidden from the physical reality that we know of it. So if you understand the Book of Formation, which I've talked about in my previous videos, I have here in Chapter 4, it says that these double letters point out to out the dimensions, east, west, height, depth, north, south, and the holy temple in the middle, sustaining all things. So right there is telling you that the seven double letters associated with the Hebrew alphabet basically give the directions, um, you know, east, west, height, depth, north, south, and then the holy temple in this is in the middle, which is associated with, you can say, the tesseract in the middle, which is actually the world card and the tarot card. And that's why she's actually inside it, in the middle. And here, if you look at the look at a tesseract in the middle, you can kind of see where there's a cube in the middle. And if you look at the diagram of a cube of space, you can actually see where there's a world card in the middle, where that's basically a symbolism of the holy temple. And I put here, spiritual wanderers seek entrance into the holy temple holy temple in the center of the cube. So the reason why this is in really interesting to understand is because that is basically where people want to get their full awakening at, a part of their full awakening. So what happens is to get to that center, you have to be initiated first from that center. And then you have to basically explore all parts of the cube through understanding the faces, which is associated with the seven double letters, but then you also have to understand the edges of the cube, and I will go into that a little bit more. But just because I haven't talked about this in my previous video, these are the seven edges of a cube. So I have northeast, which is associated with the emperor. I have southeast, which is associated with the fairy. I have east above, which is associated with the lovers. So basically, all this is telling you, or this graph is telling you, is there are 12 different cards that symbolizes each edge. That's basically when two sides meet or in corner. And those corners are basically duties or things that we have to do to understand the cube. So usually when people are going through spiritual transformation, you have to do what you can call the work. And the work is actually going through the process of initiation, understanding this, and you have to kind of start their journey. And starting their journey begins in the center, and then it goes around the different faces, and you understand the different faces by going through the task of the different edges, which I'll go into that a little bit later. So here I said, the 12, the 12 there, there are 12 minor initiations to the path of return, and there are, actually that's, that's supposed to say there's 22 minor initiations to the path of return, excuse, excuse me, and then there are 10 major initiations, which equals 32. So when you look at this diagram to the left, you will see that there is a basically tree of life, which I talked about, and the tree of life has 10 sufferers. Now, there are different paths that connect to each sephira, which I'm not going to get into, but those are, can be associated with 22 paths, which is associated with 22 Hebrew alphabets, which is associated with 22 minor initiations to spiritual awakening. And what happens is you add, once you can go on all the 22 paths, which is, can be associated with the minor initiation, which is associated with the cube, then you can go more into the major initiations. So I said here, each face of a cube is a degree or grade of spiritual development, while the edges of each face 
are the tasks or deeds that have to be undertaken to fully, fully realize the degree grade of each directional space. Experience with a teacher and alone along the edges is called the return path home. So what this is saying is each face, either it's north, west, south, east, above, or below, like any one of those six faces has to be fully understood. And the only way you're going to understand it is going understanding the, the, the duties that are associated along the edges around it. So I put here, most people stay in the part of the cube, a part of the cube, and never excel past the face, which is usually west. They, basically, that bit makes them, they're usually held down by west below, which is the devil, and are stuck in suffering through many incarnations. Because what happens is when you initiate, when your first initiation, you're starting at the center, but then you can go to the west, and the west is the car that's associated with the Wheel of Fortune. And what happens is, as that is when you kind of get incarnated into the physical world through the Wheel of Fortune of, of incarnation. And if what happens is people just forget to get awakened. So what happens is with the, de the devil car basically is you forgetting that there is a spiritual journey of initiation that we have to go into. You kind of forgetting that there is, um, we're here for a reason. So usually a lot of times people get stuck in that and they get into what they would call in Buddhism the wills of samsara, where they just keep going into this will, which is like the will of fortune, incarnating, out, uh, um, you know, going, incarnating, the devil card gets them, and then they exit, they exit through the death card, they come back in, Wheel of Fortune, the devil gets, um, de gets them. The devil is really associated with the material world. So um, I said the cube is also a symbol of Earth. So sometimes when you're looking at the cube, you can see it as a symbol of Earth. Um, sometimes people say it's the ultimate symbol of the soul. That's what basically Masons say. In alchemy, they can say it's the human body. Um, they also say it's the map of the cosmos, salt, salt. In, in alchemy as well, or Mother Nature. So you can see that the cube is basically the evolution of the soul, the cosmos, the human body. It, there's different variations that you can look at it. There's many layers to the cube. So I put here Malakuth, which is Earth, um, which can also be called the cube. Is also a lot of times in Kabbalah, they say that is the last He in the forbidden name Yah He Vav He. Because remember, Yod is more like, is more masculine, He is more feminine, so it's Chokma, Bina, Vav, and then He is duplicated. And usually when people think of Malakuth, they know that it comes from the left pillar of the tree of life. And that left pillar comes from Bina which sometimes people can associate with ISIS. So what happens is we are created from that left pillar. So when that's why when you have Yohe Vav He, He is a duplication of Bina, which is a feminine aspect. So in essence, you can say earth, the human body, nature, we have fallen and we need to basically evolve ourselves or transmute ourselves to original state. So earth has fallen, the human has fallen, nature has fallen. And what happened is Yohe Vav He, we came in the image of God, which is a duplication of He, the mother of Bina, and we need to basically get back into our original state to be complete. So when you understand that, you can understand that um, there's definitely, 12 different deeds that have to be carried out to understand the face of the earth. So when you think of mythology, a lot of times a lot of this in mythology kind of basically tell us this. So that's why I like, you know, the mythology of the labors of Hercules. You know, in the labor of Hercules, he talks about basically how um, Hercules had to do 12 deeds for basically 12 years that would have to basically once he did these 12 deeds, it could help him um, gain immortality. Where those 12 deeds could be associated or used as an analogy as doing the 12 simple letters that's associated with the 12 edges of a square. So reality, 
the square is telling you about your initiation into the physical, which starts in the center. And then eventually you have to go through experience, and, you know, which, which is also telling you that you have to do experience, you have to do its, it's work. No, it, you can't just sit there and get enlightenment. It actually takes a little bit of experience, and you have to actually emerge yourself into the experience. And then once all of the faces of the cube and all of the de deeds or degrees are acknowledged, then you can go on to the next initiation. I talked about the Wheel of Fortune, so it wouldn't be complete if I didn't have a Wheel of Fortune here, which I talk about is usually associated with the west part of the cube, and that's the part where usually people come incarnated um, from the west, which is basically completion, uh, coming from the east, which is birth, from Venus, the area part of Venus, going through the center of the world and then into the Wheel of Fortune, which could be associated with the Wheel of Samsara. So here's the Hebrew alphabet. So what happens is you will understand that once you've completed the full cube or the minor um, 22 initiations, you will understand Aleph, Mem, Shen, which is the internal part of a cube, which can be considered the holies of holies, or the holy temple, which is associated with going through the world, which is the center of the tesseract. Um, you understand the different planes, north, east, west, south, above, below, but really only understand that by doing the deeds of the different edges, which is associated with the 12 edges of the cube. So there's the 12 edges again. And what I did here is I actually um, gave you guys here a cube so you can kind of see how it looks like. So here's a cube that I have put, to, put it together. And you can see that each face, like here's a, here is a face, has on the edges I have a card. So what happens is when you're looking at the cube, you can see that on the top of the face there is, let's just say, one face like one card, but then on the corners, there's different cards that represents the deeds to complete or fully understand that plane. So right here, for example, we have the magician. So with the magician, you can basically understand... Hold on, my dog is barking. Yoshi! Stop! Okay, so basically... Excuse me, she always barks at other dogs. But basically, <laughs> you can see the magician. Um, you can see the magician here, and you can see the magician here, excuse me, and then you can kind of see that he has different edges around him, and those different edges are associated with the different paths you have to understand to understand the magician. And the magician, magician is also associated with above. So to totally understand the concept that's associated with the magician, which could be associated with self-consciousness, there's different deeds you have to do to complete that. And then each, each part of this cube also has someone who basically um, heart, who basically judges you, kind of like Ma'at in in Egypt, where you know it, whether it is whether it is like the emperor or the justice card, they're always watching you, and then they won't allow you to go into another phase of the cube until you've completed that deed or you have finished that lesson. So, in the, in, a, in the essence, you can say there's about like six to six to seven degrees, but then there's the um, different experiences you have to go through to understand. Now, here, um, I also want to put here the, you see a lot of times people associate um, the cross. So the cross is more so associated with, you know, sometimes when you just think of religious things as the cross. Um, but the cross can also be associated with the Gnostic cross. And the Gnostic cross usually have little symbolisms with planetary energies in it. So there's a cube, but I won't go into that. I'll go into that a little bit later. And what happens is it looks something like this. But what the cross could do is if you understand that a cross is also an extension of a cube, you can close up a cross, and it will look similar to this, where it is actually a cube. So there you go. You see a cross flattened out. If you rotate it into a square, is actually a cube. Um, which is similar to the cube of space. Um, so here I go, putting it back up again. So then, so therefore, you can understand more so of with this video. 
you can understand more so of the cube of space is being associated with the 22 paths of initiation. The 22 paths is understanding seven degrees of the planes and understand the Ds that only, you know, a teachers cannot cheat, give you. This is like dealing with the forces of nature. We'll actually be observing and watching and then be giving you the clearance to see if you can go on to the next degree. So that's my quick video. I hope you like it and I'll see you in my next.